Hey guys, my name is Cats Games. Welcome back to GTA Chinatown Wars, baby. This episode is going to be a special one because we're actually going to go and do all the first encounters I have missed so far. So, um, yeah, pretty much I came across two of them already. Uh, so the first one I'm going to show, which is the, the guy I'm going to start off with, is... Giorgio, which is uh, the fat guy that made us uh, go after his wife. So here's the first encounter we had with him. Who's this? Who's this? Um, but safe houses seem to be actually useful because, like, I can go and pretty much it restores my health. What does this guy want? Who is this? My hot dog is real tasty, but my wife, she doesn't want it. I think maybe she's getting hot dogs from another man. Maybe he got the foot long with the special sauce. Maybe he can grill her onions. I'm not sure I follow you. Follow me? No, I want you to follow her. <laughs> See where the bitch goes. See if she's roasting turkey or stuffing peasant. If you know what I mean. Here, put this bug on my wife's car. It's parked outside our house in Hove Beach. Please, I gotta find out whose meatball has been in her spaghetti. You're living in meta me metaphorical uh, hell, my friend. Okay, I couldn't read the rest. It just skips it. Can I actually turn that off so it doesn't skip dialogue? Anime cutscene text? I don't know what that means. I don't think that's the thing, though. Whatever, we'll have to deal with it. I have to just read faster. I'm trying to do voices and stuff to make this more authentic, but it's very hard when the fucking text skips so fast. All right, I think we have arrived. Just put a bug on our car. I think I did this mission as well on the DS. Alright, let's see. There's even a special minigame for that. Alright, there's your bug, bruh. Do I follow her now? I wonder. Or is that just the mission? Alright, that's the mission. 20 bucks for that, thank you. Is this him? Oh! There he is. Okay, so he... These guys don't spawn when I have a fucking want level. What's up, man? Hey, that bug you planned to work. You're a fucking genius. What? Oh, it's you. How's your wife? She still don't want my pepperoni. It's been months. Her car's over in South Slopes. I bet she's meeting her salami salesman. <laughs> I could catch them if you take me over there. Then I could make burgermans out of him and reclaim my tattered, whatever, and feeble command of the English language. What, are, what is he talking about? So Take Georgia to find his wife. Get in his car. What the hell? <laughs> hey, that's my wife. Go to the back of the line, homeboy. We're going next. Oh my god, my wife's selling more than linguini. <laughs> Out my way. Damn. Is that even his wife? Georgia, I know it doesn't look good. I can explain. Right now, I don't care. It's been three fucking months, Phyllis. Here's 20. It's time to hide the hot dog. What? Okay. Wait. I read that in her voice, but I think it was him talking. Y'all hear that? I found a hot dog. Hell yeah. Yeah, y'all can definitely hear that. I don't care anymore. He's dead. <laughs> he couldn't have, man. Where's her body? Whatever. Look, I only asked that because I'm like, I wanted to see how her like player model looks like. Not anything weird. I'm not a necrophiliac. Don't worry, guys. I wonder if I can do the save trick right now. I can't be ours fucking losing the cops every time. There you go. And then if I load, should put me in a safe house with no cops on. Me? Yeah, we're safe. Cool. I mean, that's another way of losing a wand to level in free roam. Okay, I mean, I see a person here, but is this her? 
Hold up. Oh, this is her. Okay. This is... That, this is not the hospital. <laughs> um... Okay. I mean, I found her. It says on the wiki that she's at the entrance of Holland Hospital Center, but this, is, this doesn't look like a fucking hospital, does it? Anyways. I think this is her, right? This has to be her. Oh, it is. No! Hold up. This is someone completely different. This is Cherry. Oh. In this town, I'd find one? I bet, because it's all about what you want, isn't it? She's a prostitute. Excuse me? You make me sick. I think your sales pattern need work, lady. Rose is like you pay us working girls for a ride. Then unload our guns in our faces just so you can take your filthy money back. Well, we've had enough. Nail them, girls. Uh-oh. I'm gonna kill them all. <laughs> I'm a sword, bitch! <laughs> There you go. Holy shit, there's actually a few of them. I'm just gonna murder all the prostitutes in Liberty City. What the fuck? Jeffrey Dahmer. Wait, no, he killed gay people. <laughs> okay, so that was Cherry. Um, she has one encounter, and that was the encounter. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is gonna be edited, I don't know what way. I'm gonna show you, yeah, I'm gonna show Cherry stuff. Um, I'm gonna go over, try and find Marcy. I thought that was Marcy, but that wasn't. But check out the first encounter we had with Marcy right here. Oh, there's like a random person encounter here. Let's check this out. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Hey you, I never dated a Chinese guy. Wanna go on a real speed date? What? Come on, I'm not gonna get serious on you. My doctor just told me I've got a month to live, so I want to enjoy every minute of it. I'm jaywalking, protesting outside the free speech zone and asking random guys out. I just don't care anymore. This is crazy. You're asking me out because you're desperate? I'm flattered. Come on, I ain't contagious or nothing. I just want to feel the wind in my uh, hair before it falls out. Damn. Get in Marcy's sport car. Mercy wants some excitement. Drive fast and perform some stunts, such as jumps and near misses, okay? Oh, now the near misses are coming in handy. I wonder if crashing into cars is one of the excitements she's looking for. I killed so many people during this. Watch her, watch her say at the end, like, oh, uh, I don't actually have cancer or anything, and then just, like, go away, <laughs> pretty much. So she just finesses into doing some crazy ass shit with her. Mercy has had enough excitement, head for the hospital. Oh, well, maybe not. Thanks, that was insane. If I wasn't ready for a long stay in hospital before, I certainly am now. What about your car? It's not mine, I stole it. See you around. <laughs> I mean, I already had the cops on me, so... Whatever. 200 bucks for that, nice. It's not like I need the money, but, you know. Alright, now it's time for me to find this girl. Poor girl who has cancer, I bet you it'll turn out she doesn't have cancer. But there's a second. I, I really don't know. I don't. I'm trying to not read the description, which is right in my face, that describes like what the mission is. Oh, there she is. Actually, yeah. Salt mercy. Oh shit. Let me put this. I almost killed her. <laughs> hey, Mr. Speed Date. I can't believe my doctor just gave me the all clear. It was all a mistake. I'm in great shape. I've got a heart after all. I'm so excited. That's great news. Great for me, bad for the hospital. I'm gonna sue those fuckers for all the stress they put me through. Drive me over to my lawyer's office, will you? I'll make it worth your while. Ooh, in what way? She looks like 55, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, uh, take Mercy to her lawyer's office. Mercy, please. Please. 
she okay? Oh my fucking god, bro. Why am I so bad at driving? I didn't even save state because I was like, you know, what? this is fucking stupid. Oh, sh I'm stupid, actually. I'm the one that's stupid. Whatever, get back in the car. I'm not doing that fucking stupid minigame. All right, we're here, finally. God damn, even these fucking random encounters take me like two tries, man. You know, I've learned a valuable lesson from all this. What, life about more than just existing? That's what you got to take risks to start living? Hell no, I've learned that suing other people for their mistakes will make me rich. I'm taking that hospital to the cleaners. It beats working. See you around. I did not fucking expect that. Those were the encounters to finish. And of course we got Cherry, but Cherry's gone now. She's dead. I don't know if I should go alphabetical order or what. I wish I knew which ones were closer. I don't like staying way. There's one guy in staying way, Meadow Hills, South Bohan. I'll just do these alphabetical order. I don't know how else to do this. Um, so next guy is Alonzo. He is in Beachwood City, broken. Hey, I think are we near? Because there's these Jamaican-looking ass cars. Oh, right here. Okay, so I actually plotted it literally perfect, right? Okay, so this is Alonzo. Let's see what he wants. Fair night. Call those down, tell me when comes the bus. I've been waiting here for one, and an age dot seemed to have passed. Whatever shit you're taking, I hope you didn't get it from me. <laughs> Fair night. Be not knife. Coon then deliver to the, de the bus depot. You didn't get out much, did you? I will reward thee handsomely with gold and treasure. Well, okay then. Can I make this game not skip the fucking dialogue? It just skips it itself. Sometimes, like, it doesn't skip, but sometimes it does. It's so weird. Bro, there's literally nothing. I don't know why they did that. Not even a setting for that. Get in, you fuck. Alright, we gotta take him to the bus depot. We are here. Is this really just gonna be the mission? There's the beast. What, the bus? Tis a beast, sir. A dragon. But I shall best it. Uh, uh, How about you? Oh, he's actually just beating the shit out of the bus. Come on, fight back, you scoundrel. You cannot win. Gazi, your scallywag. Ten bucks. I want to kill him. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe something happens when I kill one of these. I don't know. Nothing. You didn't even drop money, man. Oh. Okay. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. So, the next guy is called Guy. Um, and he's in Star Junction. Outside of Bahama Mamas. Hey, fella. I've got to get the Porn Hero Studios. I'm auditioning for the show tonight. Congratulations. Yeah, baby. Only thing is, I can't drive over there while getting myself, you know, prepared. Getting excited, you know, to get it on. Dude, I've deba debased myself since I came into this country, but... No, no, I got to help in the back of my limo for that. Chicks, not dudes. I just need someone to drive me back to the studio. I'll pay. Buddy. It's, it's the fuck skips the dial. Get in the limousine. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. We have until one fifteen to get there, but that's fine. We'll get there. I'll just save state just in case I fail another mission. Head for the club. Oh, he's actually fucking in the back seat. All right, we're right here. Do I know this club? This is a movie theater, right? It has a very Russian font. Um, on the logo. We're here, are you getting out? It's okay, I'm not in any rush now. Damn, 
Maybe next year. So that's it? God damn. Okay, well... Didn't even result in anything really, but who cares? Okay, so apparently the next person is in Lil Bay, which is... I believe this. Yeah, it just says Lil Bay. I'm a fucking idiot because I keep driving around. I'm like... It says it's like Lil Bay Boham, but that might just be the street name. But no, it's literally an actual location called on the map. So all you have to do really is look around with your cursor on the GPS and you'll find it. Here she is. Hello. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm a little lost. The city's so big I can't find my way back to where I'm staying. I'm staying in Rotterdam Hill with this guy I met online. I'm from Ohio. Can you take me home, please? To Ohio? No, to Rotterdam Hill. Please. I'm freaking out here. I'd take a cab, but they scare me. None of them try to take advantage of me, and it scares that I'm losing it. Alright. Let's go. Take Selma. Selma is just the weirdest name. I never heard. For a second there, I thought we were going to walk it all away. It's really cool for you to help me out like this. Are you like Chinese or something? I like Chinese food, especially sushi. <laughs> no, that's really Japanese. We got racism on board. She looks Asian. Before you picked me up, I was praying that someone just like you would come along and save me. And here we are. It's like little prayers works, you know? Hey, do you believe in UFOs? I saw one once, right in the middle of the park. No one else saw it. Maybe I'm an in the glow child or something. Whatever. I don't really like to talk to many people where it's more like... Okay. I can't drive and read that the same. It's so hard. I'm Selma, by the way. Wait, let me guess your name. Isn't it Barney? Barney Ma Maloney? It isn't? Hmm. Selma Maloney. I think I recognize this area. Or maybe it's just a dream. Sometimes I sing until I cry. Then... I cry until the voices tell me to stop. That's my neighbor's voice. Not my voice. Or vo Bro, like, it's so... I'm trying to drive and read us. It's so hard. Right, here you go, you weird person. This is, this is the place. You're so kind. And such a hunk, too. This is like a movie. Will I see you next time? You can touch my privates. Uh, like you said, Liberty City is a big place, so... Uh... And besides, I thought you were staying with some online boyfriend. I'm scared to press A because it just skips the dialogue. Great, it's a date then. See you soon. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> nice chat with the woman. <laughs> oh, there she is. Jesus f I cannot say how long I've been here. Trying to get her to spawn. She's just not spawning, but finally she did. <clears throat> hey, hey, you. It's me, Selma. So, why are you taking me on on our date? I haven't got a thing to wear, you know? But I bet that's what you like, huh? I see you undressing me with your eyes. Going all hot and sweaty. You a tough, lonely stud. Me, a hot noble princess. No, I don't have no time for this. Fuck's sake. Fuck off. Weird ass bitch. I love me and my women, but fuck, you know, she's like 50 years old and she's deranged bad. Well, that was Selma. There's no more Selma left. I like how every one of these random encounters just dies eventually. It's so funny. Oh, I see that already. I actually missed this guy when we were doing the Umbrella mission. I actually saw it during editing um, that this guy was standing here right after I failed the mission. And I was like, fuck, how did I miss this guy? Anyway, hey, where are you from, boy? China and you? Fucking China's gone and got all our jobs, but at least you ain't no terrorists. This city is full of terrorists, man. I can't protect myself or my family if I had one. I need to get some guns. Have you tried buying one? I can't on account of my court order. Can you get me some? I'll pay you good. Come on, help a guy out. I love China. For fine man of the world like you, buddy, I'll see what I can do. 
Hijack the ammunition delivery. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think... On the DS, for sure, I got one of these fucking vans actually kidnapped. I don't know how to kidnap them. I really don't. Alright, well, here it is, but I don't really know how to kidnap them. Was it like ramming them until they leave the fucking vehicle? This would be the perfect opportunity, but I don't know how. I might have to look this up. Okay, so another wiki says, Shoot it until the ammunition truck smokes with some sparks, then the driver will get out of the car. Be careful. The driver has a shotgun, kill the driver and steal the truck. I remember I tried to do that, and I shot it up until the point where the fucking van just exploded. I think I cut it out, actually. Get out, bro. There you go. There's a shotgun, though, so fuck him. Alright, deliver the van to Tommy. Hello, Tommy! His name's Tommy. Tommy in it. Holy shit, this is great. I cannot wait to use this shit in anger. <laughs> Every American, you're a real patriot, man. See ya. Alright, finally the guy spawned. Um, this fucking wiki is so bad for this. Like, they don't actually show, like, the fucking points on the map. Um, so I have to go to fucking GTA series videos. Check out that, by the way, if you, if you want, like, long playthroughs, 100% playthroughs of GTA games, and you want to get the same stuff. Because these wikis are fucking useless. Hey, China boy, those goddamn guns you got me don't work. How am I supposed to protect myself from all the terrorists? Did you release the safety hatch on them? Safety hatch? Boy, I'm dumb. As a dried out turd. My mama was right. Thanks, man. Now all them terrorists are gonna pay. Don't fucking shit in my bed. Come on, bring it. This is America. Oh. You're just killing everyone. And now he's dead. Look, it's a tradition at this point. Holy shit, that was close. Yeah, those cops were really fucking tough to get off, so I just had to go into the pen spray. And that's the mission. There he is. There's Tommy gone. Finally, he spawned. Like 15 minutes. <laughs> Can you believe it? People all over the city are having their apartments repossessed. Well, times are hard. Now, for me, I'm buying all of those losers' places on the cheap at foreclosure auctions. Haha. <laughs> Listen, I'm running late. I'll make it worth your while. If you get me over to my next auction. Let's go. Cool. My car is in shambles, so I'm taking this one. Get in. Oh shit, minigame. I'm so buying the shit out of the city. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's, that's really the mission, honestly. Like, the fucking waiting for them to spawn takes longer than me actually doing the missions. Oh, he literally spawned immediately. Okay. Um, at least I didn't have to wait around for 15 minutes again. Um, and he spawned immediately. I just shot him by accident while I was leaving the car. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I pressed B to quit the fucking GPS. Oh, and I just hit the f Nah. You know what? Load say Load state. Where the fuck am I now? Oh my god, I'm back at the other mission. Nope. Absolutely fucking not. I can just load the save. Alright, he's here. I'm actually gonna fucking save state here as well. Just in case that happens again. Hey, it's you. I haven't seen you since I was poor. <laughs> I just started out in property and you still don't have a car. I don't need a car what I've got buddy Buddies like you to drive me around. I'm not your buddy. I'm paying big Like I said, buddy, where are we going to the first closure auction? Where else? Ain't interested unless you talking about money big bucks motherfucker watch him pay me like five bucks. That'd be so funny So it's another drive here uh, mission. Again, in the same exact area. I actually thought it's gonna be different. I'm gonna own the city from the slums to the skyscrapers. 
cool. How much money did he give me? He said he's gonna pay big. 500 bucks? That's actually not bad. That's actually more than the majority of the fucking main missions give you. Pay the toll, man. Okay. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? I was trying to... I literally went past that fucking toll so fast before and I still paid the fine. I'm literally at the place where I'm supposed to be. Oh, he's here. Oh no. What is he doing? Hello? I thought it's gonna be in a boat or something. Hey buddy, remember me? The auction guy with the big wallet? You look like a mess. Uh, the only people making money in real estate are the banks. They forced clothes on all my loans and cleaned them out. All I had left was one house and now I've even lost the keys to that. I think I dropped them in the river down there. Well, there's more to life than just making money, you know? You're obviously new in town. My life is over. I'm ex I'm exiting this shit fest. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, what's that over there? His house keys? Hmm. You found the keys to Wilhelm's place in Meadow Hills. Damn, I got a fucking crib now. Let's go. Dead man's crib. Okay, I'm not I'm not really gonna Google this, but like when he died, he did this like obvious fucking generic movie scream. Isn't the guy's name Wilhelm as well? From what I remember, the the guy that does the scream? It's from like a 70s movie or something. Anyways, let's check out this crib and end this episode. I've actually been here like an hour and 30 minutes doing this shit. Alright, we're here. Let's see. This is this looks like a nice crib. Hello? Oh damn, look at this. Stash. Of course there's nothing new in these cribs. I wish every crib had something like to offer, you know? Like, a reason to buy it or something. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Peace.